Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Shootproof tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to use Shootproof and its different features. For example, with Shootproof, it is perfect for your photography business, as it offers numerous tools. Whether you're looking to sell photos by creating an online photo store, or you're looking to create a gallery or a portfolio website, you can do that using Shootproof. You can also use it for booking. So you'll be able to enable a feature in which clients will be able to visit your portfolio website and then they'll be able to book your services. And the thing that I like about Shootproof is you can get started for free. So you're going to tap on get started free. Then you'll be redirected to a new page in which you can sign up. On this new page, you're just going to fill in the basic information and you can see what are you hoping we can help you with. And you can see the different options right here and i'd like to earn so i'm just going to tap on let's get started after selecting let's get started you'll be redirected to this page from here you can see let's make your first gallery and we'll tap on add photos in the bottom right hand corner after selecting add photos you could go over to the left hand menu option and this is where you'll be able to upload the photos from your device but we are going to be using sample photos for this example. Then we'll tap on Customize Brand. After selecting Customize Brand, this is where you'll be able to add your logo. So you could tap on Add Logo. You could also scroll down and you can select the primary color and so on that you'd like to use. So we're going to tap on Add Logo. And we're just going to be selecting a random image. Let's say this one. And I'll tap on Open. Then we'll tap on Select Layout. After you have tapped on select layout, you can select the style that you'd like to use. So you can see the different options right there. You can select whichever one of these layouts you like to use. So let's say this one and we'll tap on configure privacy. After you have tapped on configure privacy, from here you can see the different options. So gallery access. Is this a public or private gallery? You can select whichever one of these options. So if it is public, so you can see right there, public galleries will appear on your Shootproof portfolio website, while private galleries are only accessible via a direct link you send to clients. So you can select whichever one of these options. Let's say we were to select public. Do you want to require gallery visitors to enter an email address? If so, you can select yes. If not, you can select no. You can also scroll down and you could set up a password and so on. Then you will tap on save present. After you have done that, you can give your gallery present a name and you will tap on finish setup. After selecting finish setup, you can tap on preview gallery. And you can see how it looks right there. And we'll tap on view gallery. After selecting view gallery, they'll be prompt to enter their email address. Then they'll tap on view gallery. And from there, they'll be able to view the images. And you can see that the images has a watermark on them. So you don't have to worry about persons downloading and using your images. Now, if we were to go back to the main dashboard, so you can see our main dashboard right here, and you can see the gallery that we have created. By the way, if you would like to change the watermark style, you can go over to the left hand menu option and select watermarks. Then you could tap on edit default watermark. After tapping on edit default watermark, from here you can see the different watermark options that you can choose from and you can edit your watermark. Once you have edited to your liking, you will tap on save. Once you are finished doing that, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and you could select store. Then after selecting store, you could tap on payments. After you have tapped on payments, you can set up your payment information right there. Once you have added your payment information, you can tap on store once more, then select price sheet. Once you have done that, you can see two different options and we're going to tap on commonly sold items. Then you can select the lab you would like to use. After you have selected the lab, you're going to tap on next. Then you can give the price sheet a name. So I'll just call it test and you're going to tap on create price sheet. After you have selected create price sheet, you're going to give it a few seconds while your price sheet is being generated. Once it has been generated, you can tap on the X to close out. 
and from here you can scroll down and you can start adding prices you can edit the prices if you want or you can leave them as is you can also tap on packages and you could add different packages that you would like to offer and you can also tap on shipping and from there you can edit the shipping you could also put in the tax information that you want and so on and you can also add different categories to your site so for example we could tap on prints right here after you have tapped on prints you can scroll down and you can see the different suggested sizes you can also see the profit that you'll be able to make and you can edit the price you could increase the price if you want to increase the amount of profit that you will be able to make once you're finished setting it up you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on studio after tapping on studio this is where you'll be able to create invoices so you could select invoices and you could create invoices you can also select booking and this is where you'll be able to set up booking with their new feature you can tap on start 30 day free trial period and you'll be able to create a booking link using shoot proof so you can do that right there and you can see an example of how it will look you can go over to the left hand menu option once more and we could select portfolio website after selecting portfolio website all we'll need to do now we can tap on view portfolio website and you can see how it looks at the moment so this is our logo image remember and this is our gallery right here our sample gallery so to edit this you can scroll down to further edit your portfolio you can scroll down you could add an intro text to the home page you could scroll down and you can also add brand information for example address phone number email and also your social media links and you could scroll down and add in your about page you can add an image and so on so there are numerous editing options that you have right here that you can use to customize it and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching